It's the largest canvas an artist could want. They started well before the door and etching the outlines. Of course, with a 100 foot high portrait, it's really difficult to get the perspective at ground level. What you really need to do is to see it from the air. This is Herthwin, the poet who never lived to know his greatest triumph, a symbol to Wales, another private soldier on the casualty lists of 1917. People came to watch the tides and remember. For Delith, it's great uncle Glyn killed at Ypres. When he was leaving the farm, that he turned at the gate and he, and he said goodbye to his mother and he just never returned. For Beth and Ian, Joseph, whose life ended two days before the war did. It's just good to remember, isn't it? You know, we, um, we always go to the, the cenotaph, cenotaph yes. and this year it's just been that little bit... Um, more poignant, more really. Poignant. And the drizzle gave way to blue skies, just as this, Danny Boyle's idea, one of the pages of the sea, gave way to the tides. By 11 o'clock, the beach had become a different place to remember. No cenotaph, just silence, except for the noise of the waves. High tide, an hour on, and this remembrance has washed away. One of those pages of the sea had turned. Rob Shelley, ITV News. Cohen Bay.